Let's look at part B, one of the question. It says solve each of the following equations. We start with this one. Now we have 3 over 2 times y is equal to 12. 3 over 2 y is equal to 12. Now let's treat the 3 over 2 as one number just like we would with a whole number. Right, so if we have 3 over 2 y is equal to 12 and we want y equal, then we need to get rid of the 3 over 2. So, what I do here, divide by 3 over 2, 3 over 2 cancel 3 over 2, or 3 halves cancel 3 halves, so we're left with y equal. We must divide by the same thing over here 3 halves. Now, you have y is equal to 12 divided by 3 over 2, which is 3 halves. Now, remember, when you have a number divided by a fraction, you remember what to do? You multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. So, 12 divided by 3 over 2 becomes 12 multiplied by 2 over 3. So what you have here, 3, three into 3, 1, 3 into 12 goes 4, 4 twos, 8. Alright? So we have y is equal to 8. Now, thinking of another way, we could approach this question. We could say, since you have 3 over 2 multiplied by y, we could, um, instead of getting rid of the entire 3 over 2 at once, we could get rid of one number at a time. Alright? Could get rid of one of these numbers at a time. Now, if I get rid of the 2, if I multiply the left hand side by 2, I have 2 cancels 2, so I'm left with 3y is equal to you remember what I did is multiply the left by 2, so the right must also be multiplied by 2. 12 2 is 24. I have 3y. I want y equal, not 3y equal. So what to do is get rid of the 3. I divide by 3. Let's divide the right hand side by 3 also. 3 cancels 3, so I have y equal. 3 into 24, 8. So I'll get 8 again. Alright, so those are two ways that you could approach answering this question.